instructor. I want to be a drill instructor. I want to shave off all of my hair. I want to shave off all of my hair. I want to be a drill instructor. I want to be a drill instructor. I want to wear that smoky bear. I want to wear that smoky bear. Singing low right layo. Low right layo. Oh, lefty righty layo. Lefty righty layo. Oh, low right your left right. Low right your left right. We love to double time. We love to double time. The Veterans Day Project by me and Ms. Coughlin. I hope you like it. We've all heard of Veterans Day, but do we really know what it's all about? What is Veterans Day, and why do we celebrate it? This is not a simple question. Some people aren't even sure how to spell it. Veterans Day, not Veterans Day. Some people aren't sure who we are celebrating, and we are honoring all veterans, people who have served in the military. So let's back up. Back in 1918, the United States helped defeat Germany in World War I. Known at the time as the Great War, this battle came to an official end with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles. On June 28, 1919, in a town called Versailles in France, on the 11th day of the 11th month at the 11th hour, the warning parties in the World War I agreed to stop fighting. This formal agreement is called an armistice, or a truce. 100 years ago, in November of 1919, President Wilson proclaimed the 11th of November as the first commemoration of Armistice Day, with the following words. <clears throat> to us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride in the heroism of those who died in the country's service, and with gratitude for their victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the Council of Nations. The original concept for the celebration was for a day observed with parades and public meetings and a brief suspension of business meetings at 11 a.m. On May 13, 1938, Congress passed an act, kind of like a law, that made the 11th of November in each year a legal holiday, a day to be dedicated to the cause of world peace, and to be known at the time as Armistice Day. But in 1954, after World War II, when American forces had fought in Korea, the world armistice was changed to veterans. This idea came from the World War II veteran named Raymond Weeks from Birmingham, Alabama. President Eisenhower signed his approval on this public law on June 1, 1954. When November 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars for the patriotism, love of our country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good. This day is a matter of historic and patriotic significance. Other countries have also adopted a special day to honor Veterans Day. Across the world with some collaborations similar to the United States and some, look, some that look different. Canada and Australia call it Remembrance Day. So Veterans Day became a day to celebrate the service of all U.S. military veterans and is different from Memorial Day, which is a public holiday in May honoring those who have died in the military service. Both holidays recognize the importance and sacrifices made to serve our country. So what is the military? The military is an organized branch of the Department of Defense within our government in the United States. The Department of Defense is located in the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia. The Pentagon is one of the world's largest office with 17.5 miles of hallways, three times the floor space of the Empire State Building. It houses about 26,000 employees. Wow, that's like a whole town working one building. But where was I? Oh yes, the military. 
The true task of the military is to protect our country in times of war and take measures to preserve the peace. The United States military is also involved in helping other countries who are at war. Our military is in 160 countries in all seven continents. There are 2.87 million members of the military or armed forces, as they are sometimes called, and has different branches. The Army. Marine Corps. Navy. Air Force. And Coast Guard. The Army is the largest, oldest service. They provide the ground forces that protect the United States. The Navy is an on, above, or below the waterships and the first deployed force in combat. The Marine Corps is a component of the Navy and maintains amphibious or water ground units for combat operations. The Air Force provides a quick response with aircraft carriers to living, delivering forces anywhere in the world within hours. The Coast Guard provides protection of the water and the environment during times of peace and war. So there are lots of different things that the different branches of the military do, but one thing is the same. Sometimes, the men and women serving in the military can get hurt. What happens to these brave heroes? Do you know that there's a veterans hospital right here in, Cle in the Cleveland area? They do lots of things to support our veterans, like needed health care, help find jobs, housing, and even provide food and hold fun celebrations to gather veterans together. The Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Hospital tries to support all areas of the veterans' lives or affairs. Another cool thing you may not know that there is a Veterans History Museum also in Ohio. This memorial museum is the first national museum signed into law, June 21st, 2018. The National Veterans Memorial and Museum in Columbus, Ohio takes visitors on a narrative journey of individual stories and shared experiences of veterans throughout history, beginning with the Revolutionary War. The astronaut John Glenn served as a founding <clears throat> chairman of the committee that created the vision of, for this museum. John Glenn was a retired Marine Corps colonel, a U.S. Senator, and he's from Ohio. He's also that guy who was the first astronaut to orbit the moon, but, ba but back to the museum. It's on, a, it's on seven acres of, acres of land, which is really big. It has an outside theater, a memorial grove, and a rooftop sanctuary. The main building is constructed from intersecting concrete anchors to represent the different branches of service, which look like they are rising from the ground. This is a symbol of our nation's veterans and how their strength comes from within. <clears throat> so this Veterans Day, you know a little bit more about what it's all about. One thing you might notice around town is little poppy pins being passed out what, when a donation is given to assist disabled and hospitalized veterans. Of course, there's a big story behind why they pass out a pin that looks like a red poppy. But the important thing to know is that people are collecting donations and giving out pins, <clears throat> most likely veterans themselves. So you have a great opportunity to thank these people yourself. If you see a veteran, you could say, Happy Veterans Day! Or, Thank you for your service. Here's a quote to help you remember. Those who live in freedom will always be grateful to those who help preserve it. And now to share with you the personal experience of a military family, Zayden. Veterans Day is a very important day for my family and I. It is a time to celebrate others that serve that serve our country and its freedom. It's a time to honor others that have given unselfishly for our country. It, it is a time above all else to be grateful. The importance of Veterans Day is personally to me, I come, it's personal to me, I come from a legacy of veterans serving in the United States Army. My grandparents, parents, and aunt have all served. Growing up in an active duty military family has not been easy. I have lived in five different states. My favorite state that I've moved to was Tennessee. The people are friendly there. 
aside from the highest highs and lows of multiple multiple moves. My dad's deployment overseas have been the hardest. The uh, unknown of his safety and return often left me sad for long periods of time. When he would return, I would smile endlessly for days. This challenge, these challenges have made me pr proud of my family's legacy in the United States Army, especially proud of my dad. It ha is my hope that one day I will continue this legacy by hoping a p being a part of the Army. And here with us today is a very special guest.